Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me. Welcome to MIST, I'm Coach Nikita and this is lesson number nine. Let's talk about grips. What grip should your athlete choose? Um, there's many different grips, well actually not there as many. Uh, let's talk about all of them, all right? The grips are based on the actual rackets, okay? You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bevels. And each different bevel uh, represents a different grip, um, the way you can hold it. And it's all based on uh, a line um, through here, through the palm, through your palm going like this. Now, some people hold it this way, other people hold it this way. It all depends on uh, the person. So it's it's a guide, you know, a map of Paris is only a map, it's not Paris itself. So um, now first thing is we have the hammer grip. Now the hammer grip is like literally like you're holding a hammer. Kids have never held a hammer so if you give them a racket they would not know how to actually hold it. So what's really important here is uh, just giving them a racket and, uh, and actually hold it as if they're holding hammer so they, they don't know yet just try and force them to hold it okay um, and it would look like this so you can see all the all the fingers are together okay and uh, this is a hammer now the problem with the hammer is that this is not how you want to hold it um, there's also called the serving grip which is also um, said um, like hold it like a hammer you know so this is the serving grip and notice, notice the difference, okay? In fact, you always want to have your finger on the trigger and fingers slightly spread out uh, for more grip of the racket. The whole reason you actually want to spread out your fingers as opposed to gripping less of the racket is so that you can get closer to the contact zone and that's all it is, all right? So if I were to try and bump the ball on top of my racket from here, I'm not going to get as many as if I were to hold it here and try and bump it. So there's a huge difference. You can try it yourself. It's actually true. Um, so how do you hold a, a serving grip? Well, you find the index knuckle, the bottom of the index knuckle, and you put it on bevel number two. So here's bevel number one, this flat plane. Bevel number two is the side. So you find uh, the, the side and you put all your knuckles on it, right? Uh, you found, found the side. But now what you're going to do is you're going to pivot. But you're not going to pivot uh, the pinky pivot. You see you're pivoting around the pinky but you're gonna pivot around the index knuckle. Now how much you're gonna pivot? 45 degrees. So if this is 90, 45 grip. Notice the fingers on the trigger. That's the serving grip. Okay, now let's talk about the next one is the Eastern forehand. You got the the middle side. Very simple. Turn the racket. All, in, all index knuckle, all knuckles underneath the knuckles on top pivot around the middle, grip, eastern, very different. This is the one we used for the self-rally. Next, index knuckle on the bell number four. One, two, three, four, boom, and boom, and the pivot, grip, and there you go. That's your uh, semi-western, and the last one is the five, which is basically the same on the both sides. One, two, three, four, five find the other side, all the knuckles, pivot and grip. And this is how you, professionals would, would, would hit the forehand. I don't recommend semi-western or the western that I'm using, full western that I'm using right now. I'm recommending the eastern, which is the shake hands grip. You shake hands with the racket like this, okay? Like this, boom. You do not shake like this, which is the serving grip, okay? So um, it's different boom this is how you shake the hands I've never shook hands like this okay it's always like this so for some reason um, it gets confused I don't know why um, all right now that we got the grips we got to use these shake hands why are we using shake hands as opposed to the serving grip um, you can use the serving grip it just the kid get used to it and um, actually you know I don't mind you guys using the serving grip uh, it's it's kind of tough for, to, to create topspin from this position, but what's why why people do that is bec why coaches do that is is that it's easy to go to a different grip from this one, okay? But I'd rather start 
automatically to the eastern because it's very close to the uh, continental all right uh, which is the serving grip sorry I'm, I'm interchanging serving grip continental you know um, now there's different variations of the grips like uh, one two three four right you can have three and a half like I think Nadal uses that uh, and maybe uh, Djokovic I don't I don't I don't remember in fact uh, when Djokovic returns his uh, uh, returns a serve he goes from his regular grip to a hammer grip I mean I was like what is this I've never seen that <laughs> it was shown to me on one of the conferences I was blown away it's like apparently some people use it professionals too uh, I don't recommend that all right um, and that's the that's the forehand grip um, so uh, next time we'll talk about the backhand um, so this was lesson number nine and thank you for joining me I'll see you guys next time bye bye